Welcome back to Other Ways to Say. In today's episode, we explore various alternatives for the phrase, study for the exam. Whether you're a student gearing up for a big test or a teacher teaching learners how to talk about exams, understanding different ways to express this common phrase is essential. So, without further ado, let's explore some informal alternatives. In casual conversations or among peers, using language that is relaxed and conversational can foster connection and rapport. 1. Hit the books. This implies a focused and intense period of studying. For example, Hey, have you started hitting the books for the test next week? 2. Cram for the exam or the test. This suggests a last-minute intensive effort to learn as much as possible in a short time. Here's an example. I know it's not ideal, but I'll probably end up cramming for the exam the night before. 3. Brush up for the exam. This implies a quick review or refresher of familiar material. I haven't looked at this material in ages. I really need to brush up for the exam. These were some informal alternatives for study for the exam, each with its own unique nuance. So, if you're engaging in casual conversation with friends, having a diverse vocabulary at your disposal can enrich your communication and enhance your understanding of the English language. Tune in next time for more episodes of Other Ways to Say. Until then, keep exploring and keep learning!